Hi, today we're going to learn to play the first eight bars of Dear Theodosia. The treble clef of the music is somewhat simple. We have direct half counts here, one, two, three, four. So we would be focusing on the bass clef of the music here, which is consisting of eighth note, quarter note, eighth note, eighth note, quarter note, eighth note. But there is a tie between those eighth notes. So therefore, two eighth notes is equivalent to a quarter note count. And basically, we would be playing three quarter notes. Eighth note, quarter, 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 eighth note, eighth note, quarter, 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 eighth note. And I'm going to try to use the metronome to help us do the eighth note count. And when we're doing the eighth note count, make sure to have two eighth note counts in those quarter notes, okay? And let's set our metronome to 116. And I'm going to tap the rhythm that we see here. Each beat is going to be equivalent to eighth note. One, two, three, four. So let's look at our music again. One, two, three, four. Next, we'll figure out what fingering to use for our music. I would begin with a four and one, two for the third, and followed by another four, and one, two. And then in the third bar, we'd use a five. I could do a one, three, but I would need to go on to a one, two to stretch to a C right there. So definitely either move to one, three, one two over here, or one, two over here to move on to a five. So a four and a one, two. And get ready the other four. Keep the one, two. Get ready your five. And move to a one, three. You can switch to a one, two. And then reach the four to five. When we're playing two notes together, it is important to curve your fingers. So that it can make one sound instead of the clashing sound. For the first four bars for right hand, these are the fingerings I would use. Two, four, two, five, one, four, one, five, four. So let's look at how we're going to put them together. Remember we're counting an eighth note count. So this would go one and two and and this is your three where and also remember that we have a tie so this note is going to help you count that tied note this note will come in at and four this comes in at and one
second part of the music. The second part of the music, the difficulty of counting moves to right hand. And let's look at what kind of notes we have. We have quarter notes, eighth notes, and sixteenth notes. And then we have some ties to it, which makes it a little bit complicated. However, let's break it down. We could count in sixteenth notes, though that would be kind of tiring because there are four sixteenth notes in here and we got to keep counting twos here but we can also count in eighth notes which means we could do two eighth notes and that eighth note would be on the count this sixteenth note will be on an eighth note count followed by this though we're not going to play that note because it's a tie and these notes will be on the count. So we're not going to play that note, but we're just gonna hold that note long enough to cover that count. So I'm gonna turn on my metronome to 116 and we're going to tap the rhythm. One, two, three, four. If you can clap along with me, that would be great. Let's do it one more time. One, two, three, four. Let's look at the next part of the music. The last note of that bar is tied to a quarter note, followed by an eighth note and two sixteenth notes. We're going to count in eighth notes again. A quarter note has two eighth note counts. This will land on an eighth note count. And this will land on an eighth note count. One, two, three, four. I'm going to turn on my metronome and we're going to count those two bars. One, two, three, four. And let's look at the score of those two bars again. And let's look at left hand this time. Left hand has a eighth note, dotted quarter note, followed by a half note, eighth note, dot to quarter note, and two quarter notes. This will be an eighth note count, this will be equivalent to three eighth notes, and four in here, one, three, and two each. So let's use our metronome, and you can clap along or tap along. One, two, three, four, two, three, Two, three, four. Two, three, two, four. Let's listen to left hand. And now let's look at bar seven and eight. Bar seven is made up of mostly eighth note, dotted quarter note, and eighth note. And then bar eight has a sixteenth note that can throw you off if you're not used to that count. But let's kind of break it down. Let's count in eighth notes again. If our metronome is hitting at eighth note count, you would hear a beat here, beat, 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 and then three beats right here before you get to the fourth one here. And then let's come on to bar eight. Here's a beat and beat and a beat right there. But there will be a beat right after we hit that note. And then a beat when we hit all of these notes. One, two, three, four. If you need a little 
little more practice, just remember to bring the video back and watch the same parts. Now we're going to use our metronome and play bars 7 and 8. 1, 2, 3, 4. five to eight, this will be the fingering I would use. Open up your fingers. So you notice there is a switch right here. And that is really important because it prepares us for the other notes that come lower down here. You will notice that bars 5, 6, 7, and 8 have similar notes to 1, 2, 3, and 4. So once again, we're going to start off with 4, with 1, 2 here, 4, 5, and then 1, 2 again, 4, 4, 5, 1, 2, and then 4, 5. Could be 1, 2, or 1, 3 over here. Once again, 4 and 1, 2. Remember to do it a little bit slower when you're putting both hands together. So once again, we're counting an eighth note count. You will notice that this note comes in and the eighth note count that right hand is not playing. And the same thing here. So it looks like left hand is filling in the eighth note count. And how would we count this? I would go one, and this is your and two and this is your three and four and one and two and three and four and let's do it one more time one and two and three Look at bar six. This is our one and, and this is our two and, and here's your three and four and. And since this note is tied, I'm not going to play that first note and I'll start playing over here for right hand. One and two and three. seven we have our one and two and three and here's our four remember that note is going to come in at four and one and two This is our one and two, and because this is less than an eighth note, that note would have to come in real quick before the next eighth note count, before the next and, and this note is going to come in at three and four and. we can actually add some pedal. We can start a pedal right here and change right there on the first note of the bar and then change again and then change again and then lift it up after that.
watching and if you have any questions please feel free to message me.